Hi, I'm Paul Potratz, and welcome to this week's Think Tank Tuesday. We've got an interesting topic, and it's what has reality TV taught us? I mean, it's, it's going to be juicy. All right, guys, welcome back. But before I get started about what reality TV has taught us, I wanna play a game with you. So I'm gonna give you a second. I want you to get a piece of paper and a pen out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show a pictures on, picture on the screen. You're not gonna see me any longer. And I want you to say who it is. Actually, I want you to write down who the person is. So here goes, number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven. So how many of those did you get right? I'm gonna show you one more. And on this last one, I want you to write down because this is gonna be the story of, well, not really the story of the topic, but you'll see where I'm gonna go with it. All right, here we go. Now, number eight, who was that? Well, it's really easy. That's the CEO of T-Mobile. And what can you learn from the CEO of T-Mobile? And I should show you a series of pictures, but instead, here's your homework. I want you to Google the CEO of T-Mobile and see what he's doing, because this individual is, is pretty amazing. And I mean, but a lot of the individuals I showed you were very amazing. And what do they all have in common? Well, they're CEOs, chief executive officers. But I want you to think about chief executive officer in a completely different term, and it's called chief engagement officer because all of these CEOs realized hey we want to grow our company but the problem is people don't understand what our what really our why our mission our passion but you know what are we all about so the last individual I showed you which the CEO of T-Mobile he was the very stuffy guy the short hair the suit the tie kind of like I'm dressed right now, except he didn't have the Mr. Rogers sweater. So really what was going on is he realized that he was a stuffy CEO and he said, I want to reinvent. And that's what they did, T-Mobile. I mean, you've seen all the commercials where they started adding that fuchsia magenta color and all the excitement and the music. So he rebranded himself as a CEO. And what he did by rebranding himself is he made himself more approachable to a lot of individuals. I mean, a huge, really a huge market. And I've talked about this, really this CEO transformation that he went through and I, in audiences. And I've asked people, you know, how many people are on T-Mobile? And a lot of people would raise their hand. And every year I do this, more and more people are raising their hand. And I would ask the question, well, why'd you switch to T-Mobile? Because the coverage really isn't any better, is it? And it's surprising the number of times that I would get an answer that, oh, he's on my Twitter feed. I, you know, that I see him on Twitter and these individuals feel like they know him even though they don't. Or one of the most interesting ones is he has his own show. He has a live show, his own show. And you're probably thinking, oh, what is it on Fox? Is it on CNN? No, uh, it's not. It's, it's, it's a show right off of his smartphone is what it is that he's doing Facebook Live and, uh, or recordings and then he's putting it on YouTube. And are you ready for what it's called? And I want you to Google this too, but it's called Slow Cooker Sunday. So every Sunday he broadcasts from his own kitchen and he shows you a slow cooker recipe. People like to do business with people that they, they feel like they know, that they respect, that they trust. And that's what he's doing as he transform, really transformed from being a chief executive officer to a chief engagement officer. So what has reality TV taught us? That's really the topic of this. And what reality TV has really really taught us is that people like to see behind the curtain. But the problem is with reality TV, I mean, let's be honest, it's a bunch of fake BS is what it really is. It's all scripted. You can tell it's really bad acting. But still, a lot of us watch the reality TV because we want to see into individuals' lives. And you as a business owner, you, that you're trying to grow, you know, grow your market share, you're trying to grow awareness, and you're doing all of these traditional things. You're doing radio, TV, newspaper, direct mail, Google Pay Per Click, Facebook, Facebook ads, there's really no one that's behind that brand. But reality TV, again, has said, you know, or, or shown us more or less that people want to see behind the curtain. So what I'm really telling you is if you're a business owner 
You've got to start thinking like a chief engagement officer. You need to start engaging your audience. And you can do that. You have the device in your pocket called a smartphone that you can start doing your videos and it's easier than you think. I've been talking a lot about this. I've been talking a lot about video, but there's nothing that's more exciting to me that when, for example, that someone contacts us to come in and pitch their business and let's say that they're doing a cattle call of agencies and the agencies say, well, who all's gonna be there? And they say, oh, well, we're gonna have Paul Potratz here. And they're like, oh my gosh, really? And I'm not patting myself on the back, I'm not bragging, but what's happened with like my own business is by creating these videos and being consistent every single week that I've built an audience, I've built a following, and, and I don't mean that in a weird, creepy way, but there's people that's been able to really see me and see my personality and look into my eyes and they've decided that they like me and then others have decided they don't like me, but that's fine. And those individuals that like me, like what I'm sharing, like what I'm teaching. So years ago that I didn't have much of an advertising budget, I couldn't be running ads in you know magazines and newspapers and running TV campaigns to be able to grow the agency. So I started producing video. That's the takeaway of this message that reality TV, we say, wow, this is really cool. Let's watch this. That This is really poor programming, poor acting, but we're watching it because it feels real. And you as a business owner, you've gotta become authentic, you've gotta become real, you've gotta move the curtain back, and you've gotta let people see into your lives. What, you know, what do you do every day, day in and day out? And it's easier than you believe, and I know this video is going long, but my point is, start thinking like a chief engagement officer and not a business owner because a business owner is focused in the business, they don't work on their business, and they're not building a really, let's say, a group of individuals that will rally behind their brand in the good times and the bad times. That's this tip, for, well, it's the tip for the week, and I'll see you next week.